Casey family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're going to learn how to do a color pulling beanie worked in a rectangle, and we're going to learn how to do a brim from the top down. We also have a little puff on here, and I'll leave in the description box below where to find these at. I'll also leave in the description box, box below all the yarn that I use for this video. So let's go ahead and get into the materials. You're going to need a 6.5 millimeter hook or a size K. And then you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter hook for the brim. Okay, so you're gonna drop down a whole millimeter size for the brim. Now I do wanna tell you that the actual color portion of this video will be found in a video link below because I have a full video that shows you how to color pull. Now, if you already know how to color pull, then you don't need to do that. But if you're new to it and you wanna learn how, as I said in the description box below, will be a wonderful video that teaches you how. Now also, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when all my videos come out. And please, if you love this video, give it a like. I appreciate it so much. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a darning needle or you might call it a crochet needle. Yours might be plastic or look different than this, but that's okay. Anything you've got to work in, your ends will work just fine. So let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, I already have a little swatch made to show you how to finish this beanie off, okay? But I do wanna to talk to you about measurements and the size hook that you should use for this specific yarn. So this is a color pulling yarn. And what you need for the basic beanie that I'm making that would fit a normal size head. So if you have a larger head or a smaller head, or you wanna make this for a child, then your measurements will be different. And we'll talk about that as well. But I use the 6.5 millimeter hook in conjunction with this yarn to get the planned color pulling that I need. So if you know anything about color pulling, you know that when it's planned, you go through a sequence of numbers. So for this, it was three. And so I went through each color three times using this hook. If you used a different hook, it will be different, okay? If you use a different yarn, it might be different. So keep all of those things in mind. But for this yarn and this hook, and to get 19 to 20 inches, roughly, I went through my color sequence twice, okay? Which is exactly what you're gonna see in the video below for color pulling. Now, once you go through that twice, this is what you're going, to, well, mine is just going through once. This is just going through once because it's just my little swatch for this because I'm gonna show you how to do the rectangle beanie, okay? But um, when you go through yours twice or however many times you go through it to get the size that you need, you're going to be left with this little piece hanging off of your color pulling. Now, all you need to do is undo this just by simply pulling it apart. Now, if you don't wanna go through the whole thing, you can also cut it up higher. So I could cut up here, around here, undo it, and then sew it in. But that's all you do for this end for the color pulling. And then what you would do is you would leave a long piece at the end of your work to work this into a rectangle, okay? I mean, to work it into a beanie after doing this rectangle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is the face I, the, the, um, side I like most is going to be facing in, okay? So I like this side, so I'm gonna face it in and I'm gonna sew down this way right here. So I'm gonna take my darning needle and this nice long piece I left, I'm going to start sewing these two ends together. And I'm gonna do that with a whip stitch. So I'm just gonna start right here at the beginning and I'm gonna go right through just like this. And then I'm gonna, I'm trying to pick up both sides of the V's here. But because this is the moss stitch with color pulling, you might not necessarily have a V for every stitch. So just do the best that you can. Also for the height of my beanie, 
So it was 19 to 20 inches around, and then it was roughly eight to nine inches tall. And I'm giving you more than one number there because everyone's um, tension is different. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your color pulling beanie. So I'm right here at the end. I wanna make sure I get this last stitch as well. Okay. So I've worked my rectangle into a beanie, basically. <laughs> now we need to do the top, okay? So I know this is my bottom because I can tell that that's my chain, okay? So now I'm going to turn this inside out and I'm gonna go ahead and take my darning needle off of here. And now you're gonna turn it inside out. Just like that. Now I'm going to take this piece that we just worked in around and I'm going to use that to close up the top of my beanie. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on my darning needle. And the way I'm going to work this together is I'm just going to go through each of my spaces, just like this, in and out weaving with my darning needle. And then you pull, and then you weave some more in and out of these stitches, just like this. And this is just gonna close up the top. Maybe when I get done with this, it'll fit a newborn. <laughs> I don't even know if it will. Okay, so we're right back where we started. And now we're just going to pull tight, just like that. And that will cinch up the top of the beanie. Look at that cute little beanie. I think maybe it would fit a doll's head, maybe. Maybe a preemie. <laughs> Anyways, so now that we've worked that in, there's still a tiny little bit of a hole there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right back into the middle of that hole and we're gonna pull it out the middle of our beanie, just like this. And now I'm gonna turn this inside out and I'm gonna work this piece in. Now I'm gonna pull that tight to where it's closed all the way. And if there's any hole left, this is the point that you could go through, but when I turned it over and pulled tight, it seemed to close pretty well for me. But if you have any little hole here, you can just sew it together now at this point. And when I did my bigger beanie, I did have a little bit of a hole. So it's no big deal if you do. But I'm just gonna work this piece of yarn in several times, making sure that it never comes undone but also trying to make sure that I don't mess up my color pulling. So I'm trying to get through these back loops of my, my yarn here, okay? So I've worked that through enough and now I can cut this off. Now we're going to work on our brim and I wanna make sure that my, my hat is facing up like this, okay? So with my hat facing up, I can go into any stitch that I want and now I'm gonna use my 5.5 millimeter hook and you can pull in any yarn that you choose. And now we're going to pull in this new color. I'm gonna use this gray. Now, when I bring in my yarn, I never count that first chain right there because it just goes too low, but it's up to you however you wanna do it. And now I'm gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now, working in the second chain from the hook, I'm gonna do a single crochet, and I'm gonna do a single crochet in each stitch down, which will be five. So there's one, two, 
three, four, and five. Then I'm going to skip my next stitch. So if you can see here, that's actually in this stitch right here. So I'm gonna skip this stitch and go into the next and do a slip stitch. And then I'm gonna go into my next stitch and do a slip stitch. Then I'm going to turn my work and working through the back loop only, I'm going to single crochet my way back up. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work back this way. Now I'm going to be working into the back loops. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to skip a stitch again, and I'm gonna go into my next stitch and work a slip stitch and into my next stitch and work a slip stitch. And then I'm going to turn my work and start working back up this way again. Now, the reason why I'm skipping a stitch, which is not usually done for this type of brim, is because when you're going around this, um, your chain is longer because you're doing a moss stitch. So we don't want it to be too big and too ruffled. So that's why we're skipping. So now again, going up, working in the back loop only, we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you would chain one and turn your work again. Now you would be working in the back loop and you would work five single crochets down. And this is what causes that ridging look to occur going through that front and back loop. Okay, so then we're going to skip our next stitch, go into the next, do a slip stitch, go into the next, do a slip stitch, and then turn our work and again, working in the back loop, we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. So you're gonna continue doing that all the way around. And when we get to the end, I'm gonna show you how to close it up. So I wanna show you how to end this. So we're on our last two slip stitches here. So I'm gonna go in through this stitch um, well, actually, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go into my next and do a slip stitch. And into my next and do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to work my last one here. So I'm going to go into these back loops just like you've been doing, switching off the back and the front. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay? And so now what we're going to do is we're at the top here, so we're going to slip stitch down to join these two sides together. So you're gonna lay them flat together, just like this, and then you're just gonna go right through this first stitch, and then right through the first one on the other side, and you're going to do a slip stitch. just like that. And through our next stitch and the next one and do a slip stitch. Just like that. And then I'm gonna just do one more here at the end. Right through there. 
We do a slip stitch right through there. And then we can cut off and we can work in our ends. So just leave a little piece there to work it in and just pull through and tie off. And then that kind of matches up with the rest because it causes a ridge and we've got ridges going all the way around, okay? So this is what it looks like completed. And this of course will be, like I said, for a little tiny person. So now using that piece of um, leftover yarn at the top of our color pooling, I undid that and I'm going to work this through the middle of the beanie. And then I'm going to grab on to the little white piece that they give you on the poof to go through that and put it on the top of the beanie. I'm gonna try to get through right through the middle and then right on the four corners of it so that it'll be anchored correctly on the top of the beanie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you need any help, please don't hesitate to message me on Instagram, on Facebook, or right here on YouTube. You can also find my Gmail below and get send me an email. And I would love to see all the pictures of your finished work. So yeah, if you need me, you can find me there in the description box below. And I'll see you again soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.